Hello and happy 4th of July for those that are celebrating today. We have another excellent eShop sale video to dive into, and as always, we'll include some sales that are still going on from the previous weeks at the end of the video. Plus, it's giveaway time, so good luck to you all. Hey everyone, I'm JP, and this is Good Talk HQ. If you're new here, consider subscribing to join our extended family and get your name on the list for one of our two free eShop gift cards that we award to our subscribers each week. Just make sure to be subbed, drop a like on the video, and leave us a comment on any of the eShop videos throughout the week, and that will put your name on the list. And if you've been here before, you have our eternal gratitude. We can't thank you enough for the love and support. You're the heart of the channel and the reason we love making videos each week. And let me extend a special thank you for the folks that stopped by the streams this week and kept us company while Little Man and I played some of the eShop games for you all. What a wonderful week you've given us. Alright folks, without any further ado, let's jump into today's list and try to save a few dollars. Alright, and we'll start off today's list with Sekanoid. This is a single player retro style shoot 'em up that will take players roughly 3 or 4 hours to finish up. Now this is the ultimate homage to retro arcade twin stick shooters, featuring an 8-bit aesthetic and a bumping soundtrack, all wrapped up in a black and white presentation. Players must fight off evil robots and save the Equinox from destruction. You also get a free bonus game with this purchase, Yugatron, which itself offers 50 plus levels and power ups and multiple control schemes. This is a great value currently on sale for just $1.99, down 90% until July 19th. Alright, next up we have Celeste. This is an ultra challenging 2D platformer that can take players more than 15 hours to finish up. Celeste is often considered to be one of the hardest games available for the Switch, and it can definitely test your nerves. This is a narrative-driven single-player adventure with charming characters along the way and a touching story, featuring over 700 screens of platforming madness and a side B that's even harder for those wishing to punish themselves if the regular version isn't hard enough. If you're brave enough to face off against Celeste Mountain, you can get this one on sale for just $4.99 until July 9th, marked down 75%. Alright, and next up we have Dog Arai. This is a single player 2D platformer from Cubite Interactive with a main campaign that will last roughly 3 or 4 hours. Now Dogurai is a retro style game with animal like characters and Game Boy style graphics complete with the green and black screen. We play as Bones, a samurai dog, and will fight through 8 levels with powerful bosses at the end of each stage. These stages include urban cities, the sewers, military factories, and more. Fans of old school platformers from the early 90s should feel right at home with this one. Dogarai is currently on sale for just $2.49 until July 16th, marked down 50%. Alright, next up we have Earth Atlantis. This is a single player shoot 'em up from Head Up Games and will take players roughly 3 or 4 hours to complete. In Earth Atlantis, most of the Earth has been flooded and is underwater, and machines have risen to power over humans. So we play as a hunter on a mission to clear these seas of the hybrid marine machines. This is a side scrolling shoot 'em up all about monster hunting and features a unique graphic style. They call it old sketching, but basically it just looks like everything was drawn with pencil and it's beautiful to look at on the Switch. The music is calming and relaxing and overall this is just a pretty fun time. Right now, you can get it on sale for just $1.99 until July 21st, marked down 87%. Alright, next up we have another fan favorite, Evoland. This is a package of two amazing single player adventure RPGs from Shiro Games and will take players more than 20 hours to finish up. Everland is a journey through the history of action RPGs, allowing players to unlock new gameplay systems and graphical upgrades as we progress through the story. We'll start off with basic graphics and gameplay, and it evolves as we move through the game until we're in a fully 3D rendered world with 3D characters and improved mechanics. Part 2 expands upon these systems and adds time travel. This is a great value and one of the most requested games on the list, so make sure to grab it up before July 11th while on sale marked down 75% to just $4.99. Alright, next up we have Figment. This is a single player 3D isometric adventure game with some action elements thrown into the mix. The main story will take players roughly 5-7 to seven hours to complete. Firstly, I have to say the hand painted world and peaceful soundtrack were the biggest draw for me to the game. I had heard some good things and I'm glad I gave it a try. This game plays very similar to Bastion or Transistor if you've ever played those before. The whole game though takes place inside the mind of a young man who's been in an accident recently and falls into a coma. So we must play out the events of the man's imagination and solve random puzzles along the way. Right now, Figment is on sale marked down 80% until July 19th for just $2.59. Alright, next up we have Hell Waters. This is a 3D action game with a Dark Souls aesthetic and offers a single player and multiplayer modes as well. The game upon release was very slow and had some performance issues, but the gameplay was still a lot of fun. 
Over time though, the developer had patched it up and now it runs great on the Switch. This game has some deep RPG elements mixed with the tower defense style gameplay with waves of enemies and upgrades to increase your character's powers. The online portion of the game is fantastic and the main draw for most. There are four main story acts and of course loads of additional gameplay hours for online play. Right now you can get Hell Warders for just $2.99, marked down 80% until July 16th. Alright, next up we have the Grand Legacy, Tale of the Fate Bounds. This is perhaps the best value on today's list, coming to us from publisher Another Indie Studio, and offers gamers more than 40 hours of gameplay for less than a soda or cup of coffee. This is a classic JRPG and offers fully rendered 3D cinematics and a phenomenal soundtrack, fully hand-drawn backgrounds, charming characters, and again more than 40 hours of story. They've added some neat combat mechanics such as being able to set formations and use equipable items on the fly to add a fresh spin on the standard turn-based combat that we normally find in these classic RPGs. If you're into these old style RPGs and you're looking for a great value, make sure to grab this one up before July 19th on sale for just $1.99 marked down 90%. Alright, next up we have The Moose Man. This is a single player puzzle adventure game from publisher Sometimes You and will take players roughly 2 or 3 hours to complete. This is one of those games that's more of an experience than a game so to speak. The story is heavily tied to ancient Russian myths and the art style and the environments are all one of a kind. The soundtrack is full of folk music and the choir singing really add to the immersion throughout the entire game. You play as the Moose Man, a shamanistic protagonist that has the ability to switch between the world of light and dark. And this mechanic was pretty cool and used to make your way through all of the puzzles in the game. This is a very unique game and again it's very narrative driven. So if you're interested in this, make sure to grab it up before July 12th on sale for just $3.49, marked down to half price. Alright, next up we have Omega Strike. This is a single player 2D Metroidvania style game with a huge open-ended world, multiple playable characters, and more. The game will take roughly 5 or 6 hours to complete and features an interconnected world with 7 unique areas, hidden treasures, and loads of enemies. There are over 10 epic boss battles and 3 playable characters, each with their own playstyle and weapon types and you can switch between them on the fly. You'll use the hidden treasure you find to upgrade your armor and weapons to build some cool combinations. If you're interested in Omega Strike, make sure to grab it up before July 15th for just $4.49, marked down 70%. This one is a good value. All right, next up we have Pixboy. This was a viewer suggested title during our last live stream, so thank you, Raphael. My son and I have loved the game. This is a retro 2D platformer from Forever Entertainment and will take roughly 3 or 4 hours to finish up. This is an absolute retro arcade platformer stripped right out of the 90s. It looks, feels, and sounds just like a Game Boy game. The coolest part, aside from the gameplay of course, are the graphics. And you can actually find and collect over 20 new graphical skins which change from Game Boy to Commodore 64 and many more. There are more than 40 levels, hundreds of secret rooms, and of course some great platforming action. Make sure you give this one a serious look before the sale ends on July 15th for just $1.99, marked down 60%. Alright, and next up we have Pixel Gladiator. This is a single player retro 2D wave based shooter that will take players roughly 2 or 3 hours to complete. But while it's a short game, it's still an amazing one. You'll have to defend and upgrade your home base against waves of nasty creatures, and the whole thing takes place on a galactic game show and you've been chosen as one of the participants. The goal is to survive as long as possible and people cheer on your demise. There are loads of unique weapons and upgrades to find and defense structures like turrets and traps that you can set up to help defend your base. The boss battles were the particular highlight for us. If you're interested, make sure you grab this one up before July 13th. It's on sale for just $1.99 marked down 72% and it's a great time. Alright, next up we have Silence. This is a single player point and click adventure game that will take players roughly 6 or 7 hours to complete. Silence tells a gripping story of a brother and sister who share a special bond with one another. When Rini goes missing, Noah must set out to find her in this unforgiving and unknown world between life and death, Silence. This features one of the most beautiful hand-drawn worlds I've ever seen in a video game. And during the story, you'll bounce between a couple of main characters that you play as, which will change the perspective of events drastically. The story in this game hooked me right away from the beginning, and I don't mind a good point-and-click adventure from time to time. If you're interested in Silence, make sure to grab it up before July 8th for just $1.99, marked down 90%. Alright, and next up we have Super Chariot. This is a charming and cute platform game for one or two players in local co-op and offers more than 20 hours of gameplay, all of which was designed specifically for the Nintendo Switch to be played either by yourself or with a friend. 
The unique feature is that you'll have to drag along the wheeled coffin of the Dead King through all of the 25 levels in the five beautiful environments. The gameplay reminds me a lot of Yoku without the pinball mechanics. There are even a few level types, which was a nice change of pace from time to time, and the clever way that they implemented the puzzles to make use of the cart is pretty fun to experience. If you're interested in this one, make sure to grab it up before July 23rd for just $1.99, marked down 87%. Alright, next up we have Super Faust 2. This is another single player action platformer from the same creator that gave us both Daddish games. This one features endless action with unlimited stages that change every time you play, dozens of enemy demon types, and massive explosions. This game is all out madness, and for some reason the only way you can kill things is to smash into them head first. This game even has some cool upgrade systems in place to use your loot that you find in order to upgrade your weapons and powers. The game is a blast just like both of the Daddish games, and this one is way more fast paced. If you're interested, make sure to grab this one up before July 19th for just $2 marked down 80%. Alright, next up we have Bridge Strike. This is a single player vertical shoot 'em up that was originally available for mobile and then ported to consoles. This was a no brainer for me the other night when I found it, as it's pretty much the spiritual successor to the classic Atari 2600 game, River Raid. Thank you, Rapture. And I remember being a kid playing my parents' Atari and just loving this game. In all seriousness, though, the pixel art graphics and chiptune soundtrack were a delight for me personally, and the game even offers a couple of very different playstyles. You can do raid or campaign, with the latter having a bit more progression tied to it. There are enemies in the sky, in the water, on the ground, and plenty of obstacles to avoid as well. If you're looking for something to give you that nostalgic feel from the 80s, check this game out before July 6th, only a few days left so hurry. It's only $1.99, marked down 72%. Alright folks, and as I promised at the beginning of the video, here are some games that are still on sale from the previous weeks. Alright, and if you get a chance, please show some love to our friends. Visit these channels. They've reached out through email and shown us a lot of love here at the headquarters, and we really like to return the favor any way we can. Alright folks, and now the moment everyone's been waiting for, let's go ahead and do this giveaway and see who our lucky winners are this week. So we'll do 1 to 121. And... Ricardo! Christina, congratulations both of you. Reach out to my email, okay? Oh, and before you go, here's a viewer submission from a couple of our subscribers. Alright folks, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Please stay safe out there. Have a great holiday if you are celebrating. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button on the way out the door. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and become part of our family and get your name on that list so you have a shot at next week's giveaway for one of the two free eShop gift cards. Again, just like, sub, make sure that you leave a comment so that I can find your name and put you on the list. Anyway, with all that being said, stay safe out there, have a great rest of your day, and we'll let Little Man go ahead and take us on home. That's all for today's list. We hope you liked the video. If you did, consider subscribing and liking down below. Okay, bye.